Okay, so this bottle has around 150 grams of sugar and maximum amount that healthy man can consume daily is around 40 grams. So simple math. Uh, I have 190 milliliters glass of this dessert wine and no more sugar today for me. It's the basic truth of the human condition that everybody lies. Hello my followers to the world of sommelier. This is your guide, Core Breaker. Tonight's topic is dessert wines. Let's cut the chase. I will talk about the dessert wines. Complex, expensive, long aging. aging. Why do you seem so scared? All I wanted to do is play with you. And respectable. Not that bottom shelf mockery in your local uh, grocery store. And the best way to appreciate the real dessert wines is by learning about them. So I will tell you four dessert wine making methods. Method number one is drying grapes after harvest. This is done by leaving grapes on the wines to dry out or laying them on the straw mats to dry in the sun. It is mostly popular in Italy where it's called passito based upon muscat grapes. No, 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 like this. Method number two, fortified wines. It is made by adding alcohol, which kills the yeast and therefore leaves the unfermented grape sugar in the must. Best known fortified wines are Port Madeira from Portugal, Jerez from Spain and Vindux Naturel from Languedoc, Roussillon. Method number three is called uh, late harvest and it is done in colder areas where temperatures are lower and grapes have perfect ripening conditions. Fully ripe grapes have so much sugar that yeast dies after there is too much converted alcohol. Best example of this method is Alsacian uh, Vendash Tardib, made from uh, Geversamina, uh, Pinogi, uh, Riesling and Muscat grapes. In the super very cold areas there is made ice wine, where grapes must be frozen during harvest and pressing. Here, ice protects the grapes and yields extremely high levels of sugar. Best examples come from uh, Canada, Austria, Switzerland and Germany. Method number four is called Botrytized. Botrytis cinerea, also called noble rot, is a fungus that kills yeast, concentrates the sugar and adds a complex layer of flavors. For this to appear, it has to be a perfect balance of rain, fog, humidity and breezes. Because if it's too wet, there will appear a grey rot, bad cousin, which can devastate the whole crop. Sauterne and Bazac has uh, ideal conditions to make this type of wine, but in exceptional years, it is also made in Tokai called uh, Assu, Berenuslese and uh, Trocken Berenuslese in Germany and uh, Grey Noble in uh, Alsace. Now, when we know what is the real dessert wine, I present you Sauterne Chateau Guillot 2016, first grow from 1855 Grand Cru classification. Oddly enough, I found out about this estate from their dry white wine, G of Chateau Guillot, which is made from 50% uh, Sauvignon Blanc and 50% Semillon, and it was a pleasant tasting experience. So when the opportunity came to try the signature wine, I gathered all the information available, and I was so pleasantly shocked of all that information. First fact I want to mention is that after 30 years of passionate work, in 2011, they became the first 1855 Premier Grand Cru estate who got an Agriculture Biologique certificate, which is getting more common now, but they started to think about organic culture way before any other classified uh, estates. And there is so much detailed information about the benefits of grass growing in the vineyards, uh, what role play 635 identified insects and spiders and how different infusions and fertilizers are used to treat the vines. This information alone gives this wine a different approach 
And then there are people, first of all, uh, Xavier Planty, uh, who has been a state manager since 1986 and was behind all of this revolutionary organic convention. Then in 2006, he became a co-owner of the state together with three friends, uh, Robert Peugeot, uh, Stéphane Monnet-Pag uh, and uh, Olivier Bernard, who have the same passion for wine, ecology and gastronomy. Let's talk about uh, the wine. Uh, it comes from 65.68 hectare sandy gravel and clay gravel vineyard, uh, planted with 65 Semillon and 35% Sauvignon Blanc. It is fermented in oak barrels, 90% new, for three to six weeks. And after that, it is aged in barrels for 18 to 24 months. As in most of the Bordeaux, 2016 was a perfect uh, vintage, both in quality and quantity, which converted into 75,000 bottles. It has intense uh, lemon color uh, on the nose, medium plus intensity aromas of mango, gingerbread, orange peel, dried pineapple and beeswax. Uh, mouth has high acidity, it's sweet, medium alcohol. On the palate, variety of ripe stone fruits mixed with hazelnuts, cream, vanilla and wrapped in pastry. For the conclusion, if uh, this is not gonna age well for at least 20 years, then I don't know what will. Let me know in the comments what do you think about Satan in general and about this wine. Uh, like, subscribe and follow on Instagram guys. Cheers!